funds in order to uh, keep this activity going and in yes, order definitely. to support this. Talk about that the, fundraising aspect. The of donations that. go towards the national organization, the National Fuller Center for Housing, but there's also a local organization. We do have the Middle Tennessee, uh, what we call a covenant partner, which is one of the local chapters. So the Middle Tennessee Fuller Center for Housing is where all my donations went. Um, each each uh, cyclist gets to uh, allocate the funds to whichever local organization they would want to. So with there being covenant partners all over the country, um, of course I chose you know the one that you know, most affected me and back at home. And so um, you're, I'm able to raise money for them. It goes towards the local organization and then the local organization seeks applicants who you know need a hand and need help with their housing. And, and, and so uh, it, 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 it serves a real purpose in terms of bringing people together and giving a, 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 a an idea in terms of how things might be, you might be able to achieve certain things. Mm -hmm. and, and what we're going to do, we're going to take this uh, second commercial break and then we're going to come back and allow you to uh, further elaborate upon some of these things. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. And so we can go right into this. Yeah, yeah. Well, well he's going to give you a two-minute break. And then okay, we'll then. That's, that sounds good. That's Just remember to try to keep your body turned towards the camera because you got towards that camera? straight off on the train. Okay. Uh -huh. Got it. Uh-huh. You got it. So, so you're picking up everything. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I didn't know how this would work. Now, this final segment will have those pictures in there, but uh, for me to open it up, what, what, what do you want to talk about specifically, I mean, in, in um, addition to the pictures? Just, I mean, just open up with um, that there's three segments, three parts, so tell us about, you know, the third part of your mission. Because mm -hmm. we already got me driving to Seattle, what I did from Seattle to Yellowstone, mm -hmm. and then so just say, um, you know, well, tell me about the third part of your mm -hmm. bicycle adventure. Which is what? What do you call Which it? Which is basically just driving from Montana, <laughs> getting from Montana mm -hmm. and back home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Montana and back home. 30 seconds. Bicycling out west. <laughs> what is it? Summer cycling adventure. Summer cycling adventure. Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Alvin Haney and he's given us some information in reference to some of his summer cycling adventure. And let us see if we can pick up uh, AJ and uh, talk about uh, some of the other activities. And I think we have some images that we want to uh, project on the screen uh, right. dealing with some steel photos. And right. Uh, the third leg of my trip was after I left the Fuller Center, um, kind of going back home. So, of course, I had to go through South Dakota and that's where we see Mount Rushmore. And I was able to stay in Spearfish, South Dakota and meet some great people there. Um, I was able to go to North Dakota and there we see Fargo and Moorhead and North Dakota that uh, Fargo is right on the border of Minnesota. So I was able to cycle in two states there and I was able to cover two birds with one stone. Same thing with uh, Iowa, Nebraska. Um, I stayed in Omaha, Nebraska. And so therefore I was right there on the border with Iowa. So I kind of got one foot in each of those two states and was able to cover that particular area. Um, from there, went on to Chicago, and one of the suburbs of Chicago is Oswego, and was able to do cycling in uh, kind of the Chicago suburbs as well, uh, staying with relatives and just, you know, kind of seeing Lake Michigan and all of that. Um, from there, uh, went on to Michigan 
and Indiana. I was able to stay at South Bend, Indiana, which was on the border of Indiana and Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, kind of strategically placing those particular states where I could cycle in two states at once. So there's uh, my completed map or where I've done so far. I've covered 38 out of the 50 states. I only have uh, the East Coast to do. And from what I hear from uh, the future plans for the Fuller Center is that next year, mm -hmm. they are actually going to cycle the East Coast. So their plans for next summer are to have two different rides. Um, the ride that they're gonna do um, from Seattle, Washington, down to Oceanside, California. So they're gonna do the West Coast ride. And then of course, they're going to uh, you know, bring our supplies and van all the way across the country. And then they're gonna start in Portland, Maine and go down to Key West, Florida. So at some point in there, uh, in the Portland, Maine to Key West, I should be able to cover uh, 10 more of those states, bring me up to 48, leaving me with only Alaska and Hawaii before I've cycled in all 50 states. So that's, that's where I'm headed. And so your goal is to cycle in 50 of the uh, continental United States of America. And, uh, and, and, and so you've almost accomplished that yes, in a real I'm, sense. I'm very close. I uh, started off with 25 and I got 13 new states. Uh, so I'm at 38 and Really looking forward to, you know, trying to achieve my goal of having all 50 states. That's where, that's what I want to do. Is there much competition among riders to see who can uh, <laughs> get to as many states as possible? Well, there's, com there's camaraderie around riders. I, I, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, uh, but... but <laughs> Uh, as far as locally, uh, you know, I do know a few, uh, p a few local cyclists who have done, you know, a lot of the states. I, I don't know of any that have done all 50, but uh, if there's competition, then I hope I'm, I'm, I'm in there or, mm -hmm. or I'm part of that pack. Um, you know, cycling, it has great health benefits. It's one of the things that, you know, I really love to do. Um, most cyclists, I would say, are former runners, <laughs> you know, used to be a runner. And then when the knees give out or you've had a few surgeries, uh, you turn into a cyclist. You ask the doctor, well, what should I do to you know, keep my health up? And they say uh, and there's much less impact to cycle a bike. So I agree with that 100%, and that's, that's what I do to, to stay in shape. And so you've been uh, riding not only with the Fuller Center, but you have also done quite a bit of riding with uh, local groups in, in uh, Tennessee going to uh, various places. Yes, uh, well, say uh, something about I belong that. to a couple of local cycling clubs. Uh, one of them, um, uh, one that I actually founded uh, is the Do the Domestiques Cycling Club, and we're based out here out of Nashville. Um, we do charity rides. Uh, we participate weekly, where we're um, you know just going out and getting getting our exercise for the day. So we have rides on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You know, usually the weekday rides um, uh, are 20 miles or less, and you know, you'd be surprised that 20 miles may sound like a lot, especially if you're thinking about running 20 miles. But on a bicycle, 20 miles, you know, could take you an hour, hour and a half or so. And, you know, the, the benefits, you know, are just exorbitant. So with our 20 mile weekly rides and then on the weekends, uh, we tend to go 50 miles plus, you know, 70, 80 miles would, you know, might be a typical week weekend ride, especially once, you know, June and July hit and we've had, you know, since March to, you know, train up to those uh, amount of mileages. Uh, so I, I do that with them um, as a way, you know, again, to kind of support the community. We invite everybody to come along and, and ride with, uh, with our cycling club. And it's something that, you know, I, I think you would enjoy. What are some of the uh, most important things that you remember from uh, your rides uh, all over the nation here? I mean, talk about some of those your most important experiences that you've had. Okay, well, with my rides, um, again, the charity aspect is definitely something, you know, that I believe strongly in as far as giving back to the community, um, helping people with their housing. Uh, but for me personally, it's seeing the people who are willing to be there to help us. Um, when we do these charity rides, we stay at local churches, we stay in school gyms, we stay at the community center, and there's always people there who are willing to give of their time. Uh, a lot of times they cook meals for us, so they're, you know, they're willing to cook for us and, and just find joy in that and just meeting the people across the country who are you know, so um, you know, willing to give and so helpful and you know, wanting to help 
people who are helping others. It makes them feel part of the cycle. Um, it definitely encourages and, li and you know, lifts us up and you know, gives us what we need as far as being able to you know, sustain our bodies and you know, do the physical demands of riding an average of 80 miles a day. Um, so it's really just the people. The people really mean a lot to me as far as them being there to help, wanting to give, wanting to assist us with our mission. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so you would advise uh, people who might be interested in what you're doing, what would you advise them to do? And how would they uh, be able to assist you? In, okay, in um, <clears throat> well I did set up a GoFundMe site and I believe the address uh, will appear on the, on the end result here. So the GoFundMe uh, and it's um, uh, Cy Haney Cycling I believe or mm -hmm. Haney Cyclist is uh, what you would search for. And again, I, I had to raise donations for the Fuller Center, raise donations for Tennessee State University. So that could definitely be a big help um, as far as those missions, you know, being successful. So the donations help, uh, the well wishes help, the fact that, you know, I have people along the way as I post on social media, you know, the images you saw and more and, you know, what I'm doing daily them just giving me a thumbs up or a like or giving me a comment like you go or keep it, keep it up um, really mean a lot uh, as far as you know helping me achieve what I need to do. And you've made quite a number of friends uh, in, in, in that kind of activity among those who you ride with. Definitely. Right? Um, as I was riding in Omaha I actually you know just riding along the street and rode uh, next to another cyclist and you know found out that he has a similar mission that he you know the week after I uh, ran into him that he was starting uh, a bike ride where he started in Oregon and he's going all the way, you know, across to Philadelphia. And so, you know, meeting other people with similar interests, similar, you know, views and similar, you know, uh, need to help people, that, that means a lot. You know, uh, AJ, I think that uh, this, is, this is an extraordinary activity that you, you're taking part of and that you ultimately wish to ride in all 50 of the continental United States and you've almost covered many of them and, and you really think that you can <laughs> uh, in the end cover all of the states. Well, I, I had to come up with another goal. So mm -hmm. again, coast to coast is done. So the 50 states is next and you know, who, who knows what's after that? I guess I got to take it internationally. Mm -hmm. Do you find folks interested in riding in Alaska and Hawaii or whatever? Uh, I mean, there are people there. I found that out last summer. I, I didn't know that there were people in Maine until mm -hmm. I got there. <laughs> so if there's people there, uh, there's a cyclist there. And, so cyclists and, are interested in, in, in getting the work and, done. <laughs> and people become all uh, hi, uh, hyped up in reference to uh, yes, this sir. activity and they generally want to uh, take part in it. And there's a great... Uh, camaraderie between people right. who ride bicycles. I'm, I'm always encouraging people in our club and people that I run into to, you know, come out and learn about cycling, learn about, you know, what it takes to, you know, ride in a group. It's, you know, different than just, you know, your Sunday stroll mm -hmm. down to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, again, it's a, it's a worthwhile activity mm -hmm. and, and you can help some people along the way. Mm -hmm. And AJ, let, let, let me uh, thank you over the last uh, half minute that we have for giving us that excellent information in, in addition to the photographs mm -hmm. that uh, you've shown us uh, today. And uh, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.